Good afternoon, everybody. This is North County Prepper. I want to talk about code keyers, um, or straight keys in this case. These are kind of expensive for throwaway radios. And I'm getting into a little bit of this QRP, which means low power. So there were some votes taken at a meeting recently, and what the team's going to do is put a bunch of these out in the field. A bunch. Around the, the area. We'll just call it the area. And uh, they're going to be on 40 meters, and you can have crystals for whatever, and you can vary that a little bit with whatever your license class is within, you know, your certain spectrum. But the uh, QRP uh, transceivers <clears throat> run about 10 bucks each on eBay. Now, I'm not going to broadcast this with my radio in there because I don't want to transmit, and I'm not very good. I'm very bad at continuous wave at this time, but we're all we're all learning. We're going to practice, so <clears throat> anybody out in the field can send a message back. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm using just my multimeter right now on the continuity tester. Because that's all a CW really is. You know, just go here and heat up. See, and you can send code that way. Now, the reason we chose straight key instead of speed paddles to learn on is... Speed paddles, or I guess they're called the Limbic, I think, is uh, faster and harder to learn. But we want to be able to use light as well, so we can just like flash a light bulb in the field if we need to. Or send more code to our flashlights. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody were to receive our communications or intercept them, they probably won't be able to translate it anyway, and that's not my problem, or theirs. So, but these are, this one here was like 14 bucks a while back. I don't know what it is now, but it's like the lowest quality you can get. This one here, um, I don't know the price. I've had it for a while. Um, I also got a lightning plug, a uh, viral plug, which is a side panel, which I don't know how to use, but that's in a storage. But this one runs, I think, between 20 and 30 for a key. So what we're going to do, since we're having $10 radios, or $7 actually off eBay, is we're going to just use finger keys. And for QRP and hiking and stuff, this is really the way to go. Because this thing, this thing weighs about maybe two pounds, you know. And the other keys weigh, you know, nothing. So what we got here is we got a banjo pick, if people can get them. Um, they're not that common. Well, maybe they are out here in the south. But just going to go ahead and solder a wire to it so they can key up like that. And send code. And you put it anywhere on the metal or anything metal. In this case, they'll actually go on an Altoids tin where we just tap the tin can. Um, but what we're thinking of using is a, uh, a thimble. And I'll solder a wire to it and we'll put everything together. And I put a little bit of solder on the tip here for a better contact. But a thimble is a harder, heavier contact. Either, either way, I, I filed a little flat area on here. To make it easier for side but we'll do that we'll solder wire i thought that's that's really neat i saw some guy do this on uh on one of the radio shows but i thought it was very cool i thought i'd pass it on to you the thimble is a keyer so i thought i'd pass it on i thought that was very neat and i wanted to pass that on to everybody but that makes an excellent keyer and it weighs you know nothing once I once I solder it together, it'll be way even less for the field. But I'm bringing this up to the next meeting, but we can just have a key to the can. It grounds out. And for an initial signal, uh, not to say the retreat, we can just do that, and everything will key up, and you hear a big loud tone in the house, or the cabin, I should say. You hear this big tone, and then the message. And we can have these everywhere, because they're, they're cheap. I mean, you're talking... Seven dollars for the radio with free shipping, and uh, you know, it's, it's not really a secure channel, but unless you understand code, it's secure because it's, it's hard, it's taken me a while to learn it. So, it's not something I can just use my identic memory on. It's like, okay, here's how you do it because it's a language you have to learn by ear, so it's, it's kind of fun. But I enjoy it. But I thought I'd tell you guys that's what we're up to is we're, we're making uh, keys out of thimbles. And instead of spending all the money and wait on some brass or reliable key like this, it's wire. And the point of, instead of just using a key, 
is we'll learn how to do it and we can send it by light like you did on the boats in the Navy. Or the ships, I mean. So I thought that was cool. I'm going to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think. If you can think of a way to make something lighter. And, you know, still metal, but lighter, let me know. And I won't key it on anything. This is just a copper plate I happen to have on a circuit board. But, um, yeah. All right. If it's not going to be Please rate, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. Have a great day.